Welcome back, my friends, to Laharve AC here in Football Manager 2017. Um, we are coming off, oh, and I would say has been a pretty darn good month. Um, not as awesome as I thought it would be at the end of last episode. I think we marked out a lot of the games as, as wins. Um, it didn't come up quite as awesome as I wanted to, but it still came out pretty good. And as you can see, with a game in hand, we are sitting fifth in League One. Um, we've sort of jumped up. I think it's a little artificial. I don't want to get excited. We had sort of a gift of a month um, that sort of came in here with a lot of lower lower teams and weaker teams. Um, that being said, we are in the kind of place where we want to be, where those sweet, sweet continental places from the cup competitions drop down to. Um, I am not expecting we're going to do anything with our game in hand today. Uh, being that we are going to the Parc de Prince to play Paris Saint Germain, um, but what the hell? You know what? Nothing. You know, nothing wagered, nothing gained. Um, we're 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 kind of roughed up a little bit monetarily. Um, I expect this to kind of bounce back and forth a little bit. Um, we took a big hit with the transfer budget, so I'm I'm not 100 percent sure. You know, I I think. I think things will settle out in the long term. Um, we're going to have to move some players on. I'm trying to move some players on in the December, or rather the January transfer window. Um, but I think things will settle out. So I'm not humongously concerned about that end of things. Let's take a look at where we were at. So last time we had a nice 3-1 victory uh, over Nice at the Stade Ocien that we watched. Um, little annoyed about this one. I started the month off with a one nothing loss uh, away at Nancy Lorraine. Um, really kind of torqued about it, to be honest. Um, this is a game we should win. I mean, we're much better than that. We started to put together a streak, but I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. I, I don't really know how else to say that one. I'm just annoyed by that result. Good news is we came home in the league and we took it to SC Bastia as we needed to, um, punching a bunch of goals in. Theo Pellinard having a great time out at left wing back. Um, Gaetan Corte getting one in and Jan Mabella finally starting to get his groove on. Um, so excited about that. Um, we talked in the last episode about playing Olympique Marseille in the Coupe de la Liga and kind of getting annoyed that we got, you know, kind of a crap draw on this one. Well, it turns out we took out the ass whipping stick and we just beat them into a bloody pulp. Um, they did feel kind of a, a, a youth slash weakened team. I thought a lot about that um, before we played this game because I said, you know what, if they field a full strength team, do I really want to go send full strength guys out there? Let's let's maybe we'll play this down. And I said, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's go benchmark ourselves. If they're going to play big, we're going to play big. Um, so it turns out they played small um, and we just I mean, we just broke out the stick on these guys and just pummeled them into the dirt. So Jan Mabella with a brace. Abdu Diallo drops one in. Gaetan drops one in and Christian Brules as a substitute because Daniel Indy got himself injured in this one. Um, he drops one in at the end and we cruise 5-1. Picking up a relegation bound League 2 side in the fourth round of the Coupe de la Liga. So our hopes are still alive in there that maybe that's the competition we're going to make something out of. On the road at Lille. Um, we just suffer on the road. I got to do some better work. We're hit or miss all over the place on the road. But we drew nil-nil, so we walked away with a point. Um, we should have won this. Uh, Gaetan misses another goddamn penalty. I think this is three or four on the season. I'm getting a little pissed. He is nowhere near our penalty-taking squad, even though he's like our number one guy for it. Um, I've moved him out, and Jan Mabella is the guy who's going to take him moving forward because I'm sick and tired of goddamn losing those games because he can't hit shit. To feel better about ourselves, we came home against Nantes and just pounded on them again. Um, Trend here. At home, we are merciless. We score big and whoop ass huge. So Musa Niakate in for a suspended Theo Pelinard. He gets a goal. Daniel Indy is ba was back in this one. He nabs a goal and a foremost Mendy because what the hell, let's let our center backs do a little scoring too just to prove how awesome we are. 
he drops one in too. Going in, feeling good, we're on the road, and of course we can't close the deal, and we drop to um, bottom of the ta- or near bottom of the table, Bordeaux. We drop one nothing late. Uh, Indy goes down long in this one. We we had a bunch of injuries. Torqued about this one. Um, I really felt like we we really deserved something better um, out of that one. But uh, so good news is is we're away at the Park de Prince, which means we're probably going to get smoked here. Um, but I really want to benchmark ourselves. I, I think this is a good time to see how we're doing and how things are going and and how we really look relative to. Um, you know, the rest of the competition. So Jan Mabella is our leading scorer in the league with five in 14. Again, another one in three. We're getting a whole deep smattering, which is, I like better. We're a lot more, we're a lot deeper in the goal scoring department. Um, assist wise, again, we're, we're pretty deep in the assist wise. Um, our wing backs are starting to click, which I like. And lots of guys above seven in this one. Um, Thomas Didion has been fantastic in net for us, but we've got a bunch of guys popping up in, in here in the average rating neighborhood. Um, so we're we're in a cool place. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy. Um, good goal differential. We've turned a bunch of things around. Um, we've got a good offense. We've got a good defense relative to everything in the league. We're about the right position in the league relative to um, how we've been playing. So kind of a crap time to take a game in hand against a team that we're gonna we're going to struggle with, but you know, what the hell? Nothing nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, I am, I will admit, I'm starting to get a little excited that there may be a little European football showing up next season. Um, it's exciting to start to think about. We've got a lot of work to do to finish this season out. Um, but I got to admit it's sitting there. Um, we're starting to, we're starting to think about it. Uh, yeah, we're starting to think about it. Um, which will be exciting. This is, this is, you know, as we talked a little bit from, um, yeah, I know he's not, from a financial perspective, this is the kind of thing um, that we need to, I don't want to talk about guys getting fired. Um, this is, Jesus, God, talk about walking into a friggin' buzzsaw. Aguero, Griezmann, Lucas Mora, Di Maria, Thiago Silva, Jesus, God. Well, let's see what we can do. Um, financially, we really, really need European football to help us close the gap to um, those top tier sites. Admittedly, we're not in a place where we're going to go spend $250 million uh, in a transfer window. But if we can start putting in, I mean, Monaco's obviously playing Champions League football. Um, you know, we've had Leon is spiked up and, and these guys are spending 30, 40, 50 million, um, which is realistic Champions League money. Um, so don't get me wrong. I think combined with the prowess of what's coming through our academy and um, and you know reserve system, we have some opportunity here to um, to to put together you know a couple of premier pieces uh, from France and the French international pool with um, some strong you know youth products and and some internal development. Um, well, that didn't work out terribly well, uh, and, and really try and put something interesting together over the next few seasons. So I, I am excited. I'm starting to think a little bit about it. We got a long way to go this season still. Um, hopefully we don't ex- enjoy the same sort of crash we had last season, which just bottomed us out of everything and we can, we can keep the momentum up. Oh, come on. Uh, all season, as long as we can do that, I, we're going to be in a really good place. Um, you know, we're going to fight to the death in the Coupe de la Liga. Um, whoa, that was just a bullet to the back. Um, we're going to fight to the death in the Coupe de la Liga. I think that's our key in. Um, it's a less important competition to most of the other teams, and it's got a ticket into the Europa League. So um, I'm willing to concede a little bit in league. Jesus, God, he blistered that in. Um, I'm willing to concede a little bit in the league if it means we're going to take that competition. Sorry, we need our uh, we need our sweet sweet beer to keep us going here. Um, but I think so. I want to focus on that. Um, as I said, I think that that's the key to um, to what we need to do to 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 keep going. Um, but that being said, I, we're gonna fight in the league. Ooh, 
roasts that one just wide. We're going to fight in the league. I, I don't want to give up on the league. Um, I would love a really good finishing place and obviously finishing better in the league. Um, you know, we potentially could... Oh, shit. Um, we potentially will carry down one of those trickle-downs anyway if something goes south. Um, <clears throat> and even if we earn a place, we'll get the better. So I think the Coupe de France has a better... Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Yeah! Um, I think the Coupe de France has a better starting point in the Europa League than the Coupe de la Liga. We'll take whatever we can get. Thomas Didion getting his big hand on there. Yeah, of course, we, we need to mug that man. And Angel Di Maria needs to just be clubbed mercilessly. Let's see if we can't... I, I'm impressed. We, we, we're we keeping this tight. You know, We're 30 minutes in. We're only one nothing down. Admittedly, we gave up but stopped the penalty. Um, but you know, we're, we're in this, we're, we're not totally out. Oh, do we get the break? No. Okay. Let's set it up guys. Come on. Let's work the ball into the box. Let's do what we can do. Let's be patient. Let's get it in there. Mabella. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, we've got some flashes here. There, there's some good moves going on. There's some, there's some nice stuff that we've got working here. So this is, we're on the road and we're not being played off the pitch. Uh, admittedly, it's a pretty even game. Um, yeah, I, I'm imp I'm happy so far. I mean, this is this is a pretty even match, you know, all things considered. Coco's been a, a great addition to this squad. Come on, get it over there, Mabella. Ooh, trap with a nice save. Okay, not disappointed. Um, we look like we belong here which is about all I can ask for. That move to our corner tactic to get somebody sitting up high there has helped a lot because we've been able to maintain possession on a lot of these and, and recycle it and still maintain our um, being dangerous, um, which at the end of the day is really what we need um, is is to maintain uh, the pressure in, in, in the opposition third. Oh, okay. Well, let's see here. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Di Maria misses wildly on that one. We're hanging tight. We don't look out of place here. Um, I'm a little upset that this is going to be an issue. Pelinard, we're going to substitute him out. Let me get Diallo out. Shoot. This one's going to turn tough. Um, Pelinard, you come out. Get Baptiste in there. Uh, assertedly, show me something else. Good. The boys are fired up. We're going to plug a couple of gaps. Let's see what we can do here. If we could get Aguero to do something stupid and potentially pick up that second yellow card there, uh, that would be delightful. Nice from Didion. Um, as you can see, my cat is cleverly in the background here. This is Dexter. He's, uh, He's an attention guy. Okay, we're on the move. Okay, out wide. God, Nyakate can't quite get there. Nice idea, though. Um, I like it. We're seeing a lot of these kind of things from the team, and I like that the ball is getting distributed better. We're congesting the midfield and controlling the middle of the park better. Um, you know, We're more patient and we're dictating things more on our terms, which at the end of the day, ah, crap, you're just not going to beat something like that. He's just world class. Um, it's hard, you know, it's hard to beat somebody like this. But we're not outclassed here. I mean, yeah, we're losing two nothing, but it's not like we've been. Yeah, what are you gonna do? That's just a world class volley. Um, yeah, you know, we're not being totally played out of the place. We're holding our own here. I don't really have much I could do up front. Crap. Shit. What am I gonna do? Okay, hold on. We're going to go to the tactics screen. I got to get Thurum off. Okay, well, he can basically act as, as that second striker up there. So we're going to tweak things off just to get him out. Ugh. No! Oh, good thing Griezmann couldn't hit the broadside of a barn there. Oh, we got a corner. We got in the way. Okay. Well, last move made. Let's right. Ah! Does he have two in him? 
Let's see. Does he have two in him today? Can Aguero fluff a second one? Does Thomas Didion own Aguero's soul? Yes, he does. I've noticed penalties are a nightmare to score so far. We've missed four this season, two in this game. Didier, Didion owns Aguero's soul. Let's watch this again on the big screen as he just owns him. Come on, I'd like to get one. At least if we lose 2-1, I won't all pie in there. There we go. 2-1. to one. We've got 30 minutes to go. Maybe there's something in the cards here. Maybe. Just well worked. He's wide open. They're just totally caught ball watching. Wide open one-on-one. -on -one. Not much Trap's going to do on that one. We bury it in the back of the net, and we are in this game. Ooh, Martial is on. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. We are back in action. Kurzawa. Martial. And bang. Woof. Nice save from Didion. Nice save. No! Get that out of there. Broheem coming up big. Let's see what we got going. In deep. Ooh. Kind of a funky jump there in the middle of nothing, but okay. We'll drop another corner. Get it out there, Mabella. Let's go. Let's put the counter on here. Come on. Let's go. Nah, shoot. Now we're gonna get now we're getting countered back on. Can we stuff up Kurzawa? Okay, Martial. Robo Ovedi. Lucas Mora, good. We stuff it. Good. Come on. I don't feel good about this situation. There we go. Brules, come on. Gets it up to Mabella, but he's covered nicely. Okay. Overall, this is not a bad effort so far. I think this is this is encouraging that we're not being played off the park away. Um, get in there. Martial's going to scream at, on us here. And Ikoko does his thing. Not sure what the hell that was. Because there ain't nobody out there. But. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Let's start working the ball. Let's not do stupid things. We're, we're very good at stupid things. Uh, Lucas Mora in behind. Good. He finds Aguero. Nothing doing. Martial picks it up, though. Nice from Payetti. Come on. Let's go, Payetti. Uh, settle it down. Let's work it back in. Uh, well, we've certainly f played them physically. We're not passing so good in the back. We're passing pretty good up front, but we have certainly worked them over physically. Maybe we get a mistake in here somewhere. Okay, we got something going. Come on, get it out wide. Nope, we're going to get stuffed. Okay, come on, Kanate, let's go. Payetti, can you see him out wide? Marceau. And so, ooh, nice shot in there, though. Okay, well... It's something we're not we're not laying down and dying here, which was the thing I was kind of I wanted to see. Um, we've had some just ooh. you know we've had some howlers on the road where we've sort of laid down and died um, a bit. So this is this is good to see that we've got some fight in us. Um, yeah, that wasn't so good, especially against a team of just. Oh, crap. Um, I, I mean, against a team of world-class internationals. I mean, this is this is probably an order of magnitude more money into the team than we've got. Uh, easily an order of magnitude more money. So it's encouraging to see that we're, we're not you know, sort of totally dead on arrival here. Um, how realistic is this? I don't know, but... At the moment where we're at, I'll take what I can get. 
Well, there we go. At the Parc de Prince, we didn't lose as bad as I thought. A 2-1 loss. Um, I, I am actually quite happy. That, that was a good performance. So um, we're still in fifth, uh, in a pretty happy place, all things considered. So in the schedule, let's see, we've got Lorient coming up, which is going to be another tough one. Stade de Rain, another tough one. Uh, Red Star should be a gimme. Uh, this one's a gimme in the Coupe de la Liga. Montpellier. Chamois Nortois. Um, so we'll come back for that one. Let's come back for the Chamois Nortois game. So thank you guys again for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, please do smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, it lets me know that you like what we got going on. If you had any thoughts, do leave me any comments. If you got any questions or things, let me know. I will be happy to talk about them. And otherwise, I will see you guys back here on uh, Boxing Day, it appears, to play Chamois Nortois and see what we can do. So until then, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.